As a paleontologist, it is clear to me that people should stop the causes of acid rain because the effects are so horrendous. Factories, cars, and our own homes pollute way too much, which disintegrates the bones, therefore making my job much harder. Acid rain can kill entire lake ecosystems, and acid rain has terrible effects on forests. When factories pollute, the pollution mixes with rain clouds making acid rain, which can ruin the dinosaur bones I work with by putting little holes in the bone. The acid rain can ruin building materials such as stone, which is like bone. Recently, the Statue of Liberty had to be restored because of acid rain damage. And did you know that the pollution from Britain can cause nasty showers of acid rain in Sweden? Acid rain destroys lake ecosystems. According to Clean Air and Kids, thousands of lakes in Scandinavia have no more life in them, and water from taps that we drink can be contaminated by acid rain, which is which can cause brain damage. This clean kids for clean air. Did and did you know that mostly tiny tiny plants and animals don't survive acid rain? The results plus forests. The results that acid rain plus forests produce are not safe. The acid in the acid rain takes away important minerals from the soil. Without the minerals, trees cannot grow properly, therefore decreasing our oxygen supply. The trees then lose their leaves and get very weak. You need to stop the causes of acid rain because it can disintegrate dinosaur bones. Factories pollute too much, acid rain can wipe out freshwater ecosystems, and acid rain and forests do not mix well. If you want to stop pollution, which can cause acid rain, Factories should spend some money on a system that makes their exhaust clean. You can walk or bike to school, carpool to events, and of course, recycle.